Hi, it's Aunt Hillary, and I'm going to tell you about another bad woman. And we're going to talk about Kate Bornston, who reminds us to bravely claim our true identity. Kate Bornston was born a healthy baby boy named Albert in 1948. Her parents raised her just like all the other boys in their small New Jersey town. But Kate knew early on that something wasn't right. She just didn't feel like a boy. Kate wasn't comfortable wearing boy clothes or doing boy things. She didn't know what to do. What would she tell her parents? What would the kids at school say? She kept her secret to herself for a long time. She was relieved when she discovered her talent for theater during college because acting in plays allowed her to pretend to be other people. Kate loved acting and began to write and act in her own plays. She got married and had a daughter, but still struggled with her identity. Your sex refers to the body parts you were born with, and your gender is more about how you feel. Some people are born with male body parts, but they feel like women, and some are born with female gender, female parts, but they feel like men. And some people don't like either. Kate realized that she was transgender, which means that she doesn't identify as the sex she was born with. She believes that we should have more than just two choices of gender. Many cultures throughout history have believed the same thing too. Kate knows that life can be hard when you don't fit in, especially when you're a young person. She wants to help put an end to bullying, and she believes one of the best ways to do this is to educate and support people of all genders. She has spent much of her life writing books and plays about these complicated issues. Her books are taught in schools all over the world and have been translated into five languages. Kate likes to call herself an outlaw because she lives in a way that's different from what people consider normal. She doesn't apologize for who she is or how she lives, and she wants other young outlaws to love themselves too. So remember, no matter who you are, be true to yourself, and remember that I and your family will always love you no matter what. I love you and I miss you and I can't wait to see you. Bye.